Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you don't know who we are, we're Big Fat Big, we're a band from the northeast of England. We usually make music, but now we make YouTube videos. Also, this is the first time we're filming like this. We've got our little earphones on because we're talking over Zoom. Um, so if it looks and sounds bad, that's why we don't know what we're doing. So today we are coming at you with a video that's a little bit different for us. We are making this uh, video in kind of association with uh, Base Camp in Middlesbrough, who are an amazing venue slash art space slash everything that you want it to be. And basically they came to us and asked if we wanted to be part of their International Women's Day celebrations, which obviously, obviously. we do. So we said yes, and here we are. And basically, um, not to put like a dampener on the celebrations, but this video is all about how differently women are treated in creative industries as opposed to their male counterparts. So we put um, kind of like a question box submission form thing out on social media and unfortunately lots of people got in touch and told us their awful stories. So we're just going to go through a couple of those submissions we're not going to actually do all of them because we don't have time <laughs> yeah we have just asked for stories examples comments that have been made uncomfortable situations that you found yourself in um just to kind of really hammer home the point that as a woman we still have to work twice three times as hard as a man just to be taken the same amount of serious <laughs> which is shit <laughs> thanks to everybody who sent in their submissions um, everything is going to remain anonymous. Good fact to know is I've not seen these yet. Oh yeah, Chess hasn't seen them yet. If we're making like jokes or laughing or whatever, the situations that have been sent in aren't funny. It's just kind of like exhausting and like ridiculous at this point that these things are still happening. So if we're like taking the piss or whatever, it's not at the expense of like the situation or at the people who have sent these things in. It's just like... Fucking How else are we on. supposed to deal with that? I know. You know? Like, if we were angry about it all the time, we would never stop being yeah. angry. We'd be <laughs> angry every day, every second of our existence, and it's not worth it. Yeah. So, yeah, if we are making light of the situation, that's kind of all it is. I'm reading it off my computer if I'm looking to the side all the time. So, I've been told by my singing teacher about four years back that he could never see me getting anywhere because I didn't have the look that is needed in the music business. He told me my accent would never sell and no one would listen to my music. He then told me it would be a miracle if I, if I even made it to a studio. Oh, and that pretty sells, so I should smile more. I don't really, really get told to smile more very often because I am quite a smiley person oh. in general. But when I hear it said to other people, literally nothing infuriates yeah, me more. I have the, the most relaxed bitch face that you'll ever meet. So like, to be like, smile. I'm like... Eh. <laughs> yeah, it makes you want to like, it makes me so angry that I'm like, I'm never smiling at you in my I'm life. No, I'm like, never going to smile never ever smile. again. <laughs> no, like I'm going to sew my mouth shut so that I can never <laughs> smile just to spite you, you stupid dick. Like, it's can I just say as well, this submission was sent to me and the poor lass that sent it is 18 now. That was four years ago, which means she was 14 when she was told that pretty cells you're a grown man first of all why are you like trying to find a 14 year old attractive or pretty like why are you trying to like sexualize or romanticize a 14 year old a child this is the kind of story that you hear about all the time like that's lady gaga's story how many mm -hmm. times did she get told like you're not pretty enough for the music industry it just doesn't make any sense what does the way that you look have to do with the music that you put out and also i've never heard that being said to a man like i'm never. sure it's happened yeah, i'm never. not saying that Can it you... hasn't happened but like the amount of times i've heard that story come from like young girls is yeah awful can you but you, yeah because you don't hear it's like oh handsome selves no oh. I, I would like to preface this one with the girl who submitted this has a name that is unisex so prior to the meeting that she found herself in they I assume they thought that she was a man. They thought she was a boy um, because, I mean, it's it's a more masculine name. Um, yeah, it says, it's more so she is. Yeah, like, so they probably just assumed. Um, mm -hmm. In a meeting with a major label as part of an artist's management team, I was referred to as a groupie and asked why I wasn't getting the artist's coffee. <laughs> Like, the girl who submitted this um, is, like, a, I don't 
know how she got to where she, like she's so successful like it's so cool to see all the stuff that she does and when she told me like which label this was i'm not gonna say because i'm not gonna drag on his name for the mud but like <laughs> it's just like not excusable like mm -hmm. the, it, and it, it just kind of shows that it's the people at the very top that yeah. are doing this like it's the people who have the power to change it who are actively choosing not to i can imagine when you're in that situation it's not like if someone calls you a groupie or whatever it's not you can go fuck you i hate you yeah because no. you're in a professional situation so it's like but then also that that stigma of if i say something I'm gonna get fucked over, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my team fucked over. Exactly, like she, she did make, she made a chosen. point of saying, like, they went into that meeting with, like, the lower hand, like, they were the label. So, like, they are obviously on their best behaviour in that situation. So, there's nothing that you can back yourself up with in that setting. Nothing. Awful. Like, it's not, though. it's the kind of thing where, like, it's it makes me think of when people make shit jokes about, like, women staying in the kitchen and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the same vibe. It's, and it's lazy just, and it's, it's boring. Boring, like, stuff, like, it's not funny. It's not, it doesn't make any sense. And especially in a professional pr professional situation. You're nasty. <laughs> You're nasty. Okay, next nasty one. Um these were sent like in a few messages so i'm just going to read them out like bit by bit sexual misconduct reports being ignored that's a big one in itself and um, having my appearance scrutinized and commented on every single day at work um and then the last one is bands making inappropriate comments at me at work and then in brackets gigs and male colleagues ignoring i There's think a lot that's to a really that's a really interesting point like <sighs> Just because we get like the not all men argument all the time. And yes, of course, not all men. Not all men think like that. We're not stupid. But like all men have the ability to step in and say that's not okay. And yeah. like we don't find that happening enough. Yeah. Like we can say that till the fucking cows come home. Like we do say that all the time. Like don't talk to me like that. Don't yeah. like why are you assuming that I'm less than I am just because I'm not a man? But it's clearly not taken as seriously as when it's said from it comes from another man like more men need to stand up when they say these things say these things happening and say that's not right mm -hmm. like that's not and the fact that it's uh, we've actually split this person's submissions up into two lots so i have another two by the same person yeah and she actually said that it was enough to make i leave our last job there's only so much you can put up with isn't 100%? there and then it's like if you do say something you're a guy you stood up for someone and and you've said your piece you don't realize how much that helps yeah like even if you like do you know what i mean just anything you say and anything you do to help because it's the individual who feels that who gets the gain from Definitely. that from the same submission multiple managers touching female members of staff inappropriately on work nights out management people at the very top and this is one i think is the worst one maybe out of the whole all of the submissions this is the one that got to me the most um being offered dinner and drinks instead of overtime pay that's a weird one so <laughs> instead of she'd done the overtime work like she'd pledged overtime and obviously in that regard was helping the company out yeah instead of paying her the money that she worked for they offered to take her out for dinner and drinks like on a date or whatever. Women like, aren't what? paid enough in the first place. Women exactly. aren't, don't have equal pay to men in the first place. And like, that sounds insane to say in 2021, but like, it's literally the truth. Why do you think it's okay when someone is spending their time, their life, giving away hours of their life to do a job that is benefiting your company? Why do you think it's okay to say, I'm not gonna pay you in cash. I'm gonna pay you maybe a cocktail. Would you like a girly cocktail? Like, you just, I, it, it's, unbelievable it's like almost, absolutely like unbelievable. they assume that we're grateful oh that's 100 what it is like why should this person be grateful of the fact that you want to take them out for food and drinks instead of paying them lit like money like they were doing their job they weren't doing yeah. it they weren't doing it to like directly help you they were doing it because that's their job they weren't doing it. it's nothing to do with you and i think that's to, that's a big like overarching theme is like it's nothing to do with you like women exist in the industry because they want to like not for your benefit not for your pleasure not for none of that women exist in the industries that they're in because they want to okay this is a long one so i'm going to be reading for a while 
At the beginning of lockdown, I just had my second baby and it was pretty tough with the whole corona thing. Anyway, I'd always loved writing and had a pile of unfinished novels, so my hubby suggested getting back into them. So I joined a few groups on Facebook. It took me ages to get the courage to, po to post, but then I posted a question along the lines of, as a reader, would it distract you if I mentioned things that had happened in the pandemic, but there's no pandemic in my book? Um, so things like Taylor Swift dropping folklore and binge, binge watching Disney Plus, um, but they're still going to busy pubs, which is where they hang out. The first comment I had was from a man, if I, and it said, if I hear the word COVID one more time, I'm leaving this group. Stupid. Um, <laughs> Do it then. Bye. And, <laughs> I know. So then she said, should have been a red flag, really. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then the next bit says, then I got more comments saying, who cares? It's a rom-com weird um then i had men tell me about my uh, genre like a publisher would not publish a rom-com by an unknown author and no agent will take submissions when the market is so saturated first off i self-publish so that comment was irrelevant and irre irrelevant to my question others followed on and offered the same advice i think the the thing that i got from this one is just that like unsolicited advice is a thing mm -hmm. that yeah. women deal with all the time all the time like i didn't like she didn't ask for that she asked a question yeah none of the things that were said by men were relevant to the question at all yeah and i think this is just a snippet of what she got like commented on that post in that facebook facebook group and um, i would imagine they weren't the actually team. like angled in a very helpful way either no. it was probably very snotty like looking like, down on and the whole like rom like looking down on rom-com like don't read it then like don't yeah. read it and i think that again this is a really good example this woman just wants to exist in our industry yeah. like she just wants she just Having wants fun. to do it she just wants to exist she just wants to write a book i'm gonna slam a pit like a few pages here because uh, i'm a member of them but like i don't give a fuck um i don't need their advice but it's like <laughs> do you know the bass players market musicians market northeast fucking coming at you um <laughs> they're full of fucking white middle-aged men it's always the same telling you you can't play a fucking five string because it's shitty i, I remember one time like I'd asked, did you ask did you ask should i play a five string <laughs> did you do that i'd asked about like changing the pots or something like that on my bass because oh, i wanted to sell a bass and i didn't want to why the pots? I was like, who wants to buy this and have a little project? And they're like, well, you only have to do this. This is what you have to do to fix it. This is what you got to do. I was like, I just want to fucking sell it. No, like, I don't want to fix it. Like, uh, it's like, oh, they're just, and then full of men just fucking shitting on a lot of things. Yeah. And you can't even comment without having a shitty backhand scene. I know. Yeah, fuck you, base players market. This kind of links in quite nicely with the last one. Um, didn't ask. Didn't ask. Um, a co-worker once told me that my degree was at the bottom of the scale of useful degrees and that it was essentially a knitting degree. I studied surface design. <laughs> well, I wonder whether you do a knitting degree or not. It's a degree? It's a fucking degree. Like, why? I find this as well with, with a lot of um, people in jobs that aren't, like, careers. Like, they're just doing it to get by. Like, I s saw something before where someone asked someone where they worked and they were like oh, i think they worked at like a co-op or something like a supermarket and they, they they weren't like saying anything bad about it they went oh i just, I just work at like the supermarket and the person responded with oh well it's a job like as if that like, you don't know that could be like the, what they want to do that's yeah. that yeah. could be just because it's same not like being in, having their own business and, and blah 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 blah. Like, it's the same with that like don't look down on someone else's degree like regardless yeah. of what it is that degree is relevant to to many professions like yeah. many 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 professions so like it's a it's a degree like why does it matter what it's in yeah. like the, the useful degrees like what are you talking about yeah, you're like, just making shit up yeah you're just making stuff up <laughs> who are you to comment on like my degree like my my performing arts degree isn't relevant in like a science lab but your science degree isn't relevant in like on like a stage do you exactly. know what i mean it's all just like just let people live their lives like <laughs> also like that that what was that degree in uh surface, surface design. design like i couldn't I do, that do that if i tried could not no. do that if i tried and even if you could who are you to judge like uh, stop judging people it literally like just let people live their lives it's so boring I went to management to complain after a male co-worker made inappropriate comments about me and was told that it was because my shorts were too short. I was 17. Peter. <laughs> <laughs>
literally that's a child victim blaming like that's simple as that that is blaming her for having short shorts instead of him yeah. for being inappropriate I don't understand the correlation like to me there is no correlation no like you are wearing something someone makes an inappropriate comment about your body or whatever not about what you're wearing about you as a person the way you look in just gen your general life and the choices that you've made that day and then that's somehow your fault for dressing like that instead of their fault for saying it yeah like i don't i just don't get it i don't understand and like, especially in a professional environment like yeah. if you're going to management to complain that someone has made you feel uncomfortable how is what someone's wearing more important than the fact that that member of staff feels uncomfortable it's the one that most infuriates me because it is literally like why have you said that comment is because you're sexualizing that person 100 mm -hmm, percent. and then it's like well your shorts are too short but if you look at the your shorts are too short why are you saying that comment is my shorts too short because you think more either more skin's on show or more whatever's on show which is sexualizing my body which shouldn't have to happen at not work. at work like not anywhere but especially not at work i'm pretty sure as time. well that like if she was wearing short shorts, it's not going to be the middle of winter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like she's probably wearing short shorts because it's fucking hot outside. Even like, if it was She's not gone it. to work hoping that someone comments on her body that day. Like, yeah. that's... It's it's for comfortable. Like, it's for being comfortable. It's for... It's for comfortable. It's for comfort. It's for comfort. <laughs> Especially at 17. If someone said that to me, I would have been like, Ooh. Like, yeah, everything yeah. is my fault. I shouldn't have, like, spoken out about it. I shouldn't have worn the shorts. Like, yeah. fuck that. Wear the shorts. <laughs> It's like, the it's like that saying, like, if men just disappeared overnight, what would you do? Wear shorter shorts. Don't, I could leave my drink unsolicited. Yeah. Um, well, for walks at night. I'd put my keys in between my fingers. I'd go out late at night. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just so true. Once a man stood beside me at the bar of one of our gigs after the first set, he asked me if, if I was wearing a sports bra. I was like, um, what the fuck? And just kind of didn't even reply because I was thinking, why on earth is he asking? He then went on to explain that he had hoped I wasn't so that he would have a show when I was dancing slash jumping around the stage on the, like during the second set. I just walked away to be honest, but yeah, that was the last time I wore a low cut top to a gig. Oh man, this is what I meant. Like, wait, words have weight. Like, yeah. that, that has been said. And then after that, a decision has been made, even though she felt perfectly comfortable. And that's such a control thing. This is probably the one that makes me the most angry because I, I just think he's made a point of finding her before she goes on stage to do like something that's scary for most people and make her, like let her know that he is watching he's oh. watching her chest and he's looking like how that's just so uncomfortable and like what a way to make and, it, and that's what her at work she's at work she's playing show obviously like when you put on the spot like that it's so hard to know what to do mm -hmm. because it's so vile like it's just uncomfortable and awful um but like to to me i'll go like if that was me i'll go to someone i trust and be like i don't want this person at my gig like yeah, if i'm yeah, playing the show like i don't want them there um, i would now yeah i don't yeah. know if i would i don't know if i would have years ago probably younger, not no no it's really it's hard to say you've got that option to do that like yeah. so if something happens is going to somebody that you trust and being like this person needs to leave yeah yeah like those kind of comments stay in your head for so long yeah. and it's so hard to not like we're like talking about these comments and being like these men are awful um, and it's easy to say that when we're just sat here like in our own homes but when that actually happens it can be really traumatizing um and it can stick in your head for like years and years and years and it's really Definitely. hard to not like succumb to the thoughts and be like okay well i won't i'm not gonna wear a low cut top now because i'm really uncomfortable with that i'm not gonna wear the short shorts now because i i know that other people might be looking at me like it's really hard to not let let that happen um, yeah. but then you're gonna be living your life for those people I can I can picture this bloke as well, can you? Like I I just know he was like a middle aged Skilled. man, knee hair, like <laughs> he's one of the overweight. That, like... Do you know what I mean? Like I can see him, and it, because it's happened in the past, and it, there's it's just like such a specific demographic of people who think they have the right to do that, and you don't. Our last one for today. This is another abuse of power. Huge, huge abuse of power. I've had multiple men who work in A and R at major labels pretending to be interested in my band. Before long, they end, all end up becoming creeps. One of them privately messaged me to comment on my lack of bras on my Instagram stories. Why? 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 It's just fucking creepy. When you know, if you 
you're in a band and you get approached by a major label that's exciting that's amazing that's like the best thing that could happen to you at that time like that you they know that you have to act a certain way around them so to then use that information and make inappropriate comments about a woman's body a young woman's body in this case like unacceptable disgusting complete and utter abuse of power yeah and that just would not happen to a, mo a man that just wouldn't happen it wouldn't what did he expect to, to get happen? from him yeah did, did he want her to be like oh thank you <laughs> for noticing like thank you like i, ju I just <laughs> what did he think yeah. was gonna happen aside from right well i don't want anything to do with your label now yeah but... i think sometimes men don't know that they don't have to say what's in their heads like yeah. you, if there's one thing that men have it's the it's audacity, the audacity. Like, <laughs> a main reason that we wanted to make this video we had a really bad experience luckily we are the kind of people that we are and it didn't affect us we had um unsolicited nudes sent to our band page on two separate occasions um and it just kind of made us realize like we we're living in this kind of nice little bubble where everyone was nice to us and everyone was nice about our music and blah 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 and then that happened and we were like oh shit we are still women in the industry like fuck mm -hmm. we we do have to deal with this kind of stuff yeah and like it was just a real like moment of clarity where we're like right okay even though we've done all of this stuff we had a really good 2020 we still have to work twice as hard to be taken seriously and for shit like that to not happen to us yeah and i know that it happened to another band another band that we really love called venus um who were based in leeds the same thing happened to them not long ago um where they were i think they were asked for nudes themselves rather than sent them um and i just think like who gave you the right to do that who yeah. gave you to like interrupt a woman's day and and do that and i think when base camp approached us um i had a conversation with aaron about um kind of like what international women's day means to us um and for me it's a celebration of all the things that should already be celebrated so like we shouldn't need to make a point but we do like yeah. we just do although because these things still happen and yeah. you can say that oh all, all you want like when's international men's day blah 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 yes not all men 100 percent not all men like we have male friends we work with men professionally daily but that just doesn't take away just because not all men that doesn't take away from the fact that some men yeah. um and we just have to keep pushing and celebrating the things that should already be celebrated but we have to work twice as hard for yeah. them to be recognized if there was nothing to if there was nothing wrong we wouldn't have a day you know exactly. yeah. but we need the day to be like fuck you know <laughs> but i think it's worth saying that like there are countries in the world that like the laws surrounding women um are just not okay basically bad things happen to women um and there aren't people protecting them when they should be um yeah. and like that's what international women's day is also for we're not where we need to be yet so we're going to keep pushing until we are you know yeah i think um we'll leave some resources in the description kind of if you need help or if you are struggling from any of the kind of things that have been mentioned and you've realized that now that they're not okay because they're really not like this is another point that we wanted to make in this video please don't think that th these things are normal don't think that you have to stand for these things because you absolutely don't so we'll leave some um resources and companies and stuff in the description box so if you do need help kind of like processing anything that you have been through in the past reach out to these and they will do all that they can to help yeah. you and just also know your worth like know that you deserve to be in this industry more than do you think you do or more than other people might think you do like you deserve it just as much as everybody else it doesn't matter what is between your legs or what isn't between your legs thanks so much to aaron and everyone at base camp for asking us to collab on this video they're doing loads of work around international women's day so go and check them out um, and also thanks so much for watching thanks for watching our other videos as well there's been loads of support recently so there's a button down here somewhere <laughs> i think it's this side i don't know it might not be down here now press it um and it's just where now i fucked it up <laughs> so subscribe and if you press the button it helps us out loads like it's free to click it so just click it the end love you bye love, love you bye, you, bye.